an organization, what we do, what we're continuing to do, is say that GSAs are places of safety and welcoming environments for LGBTQ youth and their allies, right? That's why these GSAs exist. Because we know when a GSA hap is existing on a campus, students feel more at ease on their campus. They have a place to go to. There's a sense of belonging. There's a community they can rely on. And those are the kind of things that really help any youth survive the day-to-day -day issues of bullying or harassment or discrimination. GSAs are also ways for them to start building their leadership abilities and their voice to really start combating bullying, right? Start filling out these harassment discrimination forms. Start being knowledge about what harassment is, what discrimination is, and if they are you know, confronting it, how to confront it, what laws they have to protect them, how to make sure those laws are being abided. GSAs provide kind of that space um, and they offer that opportunity. So I'd really encourage you who are, you know, not a part of a GSA and know that the GSA exists on campus to become more active because that's a community that can really help you. Um, and for those who already have GSAs is to use it as a tool, you know, continue to build your leadership ability because you are an example to other youth on your campus who are out or who are not out that you want to create a safe space. So really create a safe space that's welcoming for everyone because this is a time where many people need that space to go to, right? And address this as you talk about suicide. Look for information on how to support your fellow peers, right? This is not something to act like doesn't exist. It exists and it's very, very prominent in our community. So why not have discussions about this? Why not facilitate learning, you know, from this experience? Um, and I think that's the greatest kind of information that I could give as a you know, program coordinator working with GSAs in the Valley is to use what you have in your GSA as a resource to connect to Trevor Project, to connect to other organizations, because they will come in and they'll work with you on dealing with issues of depression or suicide. They'll give you the skills needed to start talking to your members about these things, you know, so use them.